My name is Andrew Alio. Um, I'm a junior. Well, my name is Felicia Turner. I'm an 11th grader. My name is Yvette. I'm in the 11th grade. My name is Ariel Bott. I'm in 11th grade at City Arts and Tech. is Tony Asturias. I'm in 11th grade. I worked at Jersey for environmental justice. My internship was Art for Recovery. I worked at Swallowtail. I worked at 826 Valencia. I worked at the Marine Mammal Center. I worked at Literacy for Environmental Justice. Literacy for Environmental Justice is a youth empowerment and um, environmental health and justice education organization. We work primarily with um, youth ages ranging from 14 to 21. I generally get there around like 10, 30 or 11 and I go to the uh, Ben's desk and just research um, stuff on Earth Day. and like look up different things where we could rent stuff and things like that. Um, and then I go to staff meeting and get people's input on staff from staff meeting and then keep researching and then that was basically it. It was a lot of computer research and emailing and getting phone calls and things like that. I worked at Swallowtail and it's an interior, de interior decor boutique in Russian Hill and it's been open for 10 years and it's owned by an interior designer who also owns a furniture design company called Disfigure Design. Well, I was surprised by after a certain amount, you know, after a little while, she picked everything up just like that. We definitely used her skills to help us accomplish building a web page. So it's been really, really great. My proudest moment was when I was done taking all the pictures for the website. And Cameron told me to edit the images. And I was the only one who knew how to work Photoshop. So I was sitting there editing images while Peter and Forrest, who's my boss's brother, dusted the store. <laughs> and I didn't have to dust the store because I knew how to work Photoshop. And um, I felt really good and proud that I went to CAT just because they taught me how to use Photoshop. So I was really happy. <laughs> My internship was Art for Recovery. Our Art for Recovery has become a very large program. Actually, it's a department at UCSF Medical Center. We hold writing, art making, and art support workshops free of charge to anyone dealing with cancers. I started out thinking that I wanted to have um, pieces that students and patients do in the window. It was so frustrating because like you can't do certain things in the window and the window's on a slant so it was hard to figure out what's going to go in it, what kind of background are we going to have. So you know of course we had to pick out the paper, we, end up, we ended up using fabric. <laughs> we had to pick up the background, we ended up not even having a background. What mediums we we're going to use, it was like, so every step got harder and harder as it got closer. And then of course it was like at the end, we were like, okay, well, we know what we wanna do, so what kind of questions are we gonna ask? And of course I wanted the, the hard hitting, like get your feelings, emotions out questions. And um, they thought that maybe it was too much for students. Yeah, but in the end it, it turned out really nice. And I think that the project was kind of rocky in the beginning and then kind of slowly moved into itself and like found its own place. and got done, it was nice in the end. It was something I was happy that I created and put up and had a vision for, so, yeah. I worked at 826 Valencia, which is a writing center and also a tutoring center for kids ages six to 18. I learned how to like 
talk to people and like ask people for things and interact in a responsible and mature way. I fine tune my child care skills. She is so lively. <laughs> she's she's lively. She's funny. Um, she's charismatic. Some volunteers will come in and um, and they'll come from like a high school program and and it will be more like you know they're coming to me as a student where she is coming to me as somebody who's here to volunteer and help out. Uh, came in strong and stayed strong the whole time. She takes it seriously, but she's also able to have fun with it, and that's those are good qualities, especially at a place like this. I work at the Marine Mammal Center. The Marine Mammal Center is actually the largest marine mammal rehabilitation facility in the world, and what we're doing is bringing in sick, orphaned, and injured marine mammal. We bring them in, we rehabilitate them, and through the efforts of our med staff and our volunteers, we release them to the ocean so they can return to their natural homes. I think the main thing that I can apply to the future is that um, I worked and interacted with other people in like a workplace learning experience, and, um, and that has probably been what I can apply to in the future because um, I really know kind of now going into a, a new workplace um, what kind of attitude I should have and uh, how I should um, get uh, involved with the, my coworkers. I definitely feel a little more open towards meeting new people. Um, usually I'm in more of a confined space with people I know and uh, really getting out there and being able to um, you know, talk to new people and just find out what everyone's about and interact with them has been great. It's, it's a pleasant surprise. I think he's, I, I think he's a little bit more out there now than he was when he first came. He certainly isn't as shy as he used to be, and um, I think that's the biggest surprise that it all it all worked out as well as as it has.